native fortresses. This, this got to be another one of those climbing levels, like Great Gate. On old school controls, try the direction, but that's actually what I'm already doing. I know it probably would be a lot better for my movement if I did use the analog stick, but I'm just so used to playing with the directionals. Anything hidden off to the sides? Actually, VR, I don't think the uh, level design got too sadistic until like Crash 2. Because I've heard some horror stories about stuff in there. Oh, this is the one I'm thinking of. There's only one box wide. I. Let's not speak of that. Fizz, it's gonna turn. I'm gonna do the effort to uh, get the turtle dead in the right place for the box, uh, and then it's gonna turn out that I need another gem or something again. Okay. Any other boxes? Stupid monkey. Slide, jump. Checkpoint, always reassuring. Do those wood things like stay in, like they're in a platform mode permanently, or is that limited time? That was sloppy, and that was sloppier. Maybe I'm just being a bit too hesitant with my jumps. I'll tell you what, I will be glad when I start getting into like the Crash 2 and 3 portions of the game, and I have the ability to slide again. Probably because this is actually one of the more fun manoeuvres. doing that thing with the boxes where it's like what like you've got like one chance to get the box because you have to make bounce on an enemy to do so I think they did like a lot less of that in warped actually warped I think had a whole lot less bullshit tactics in general because I, cr I think crash 2 had some stupid stuff like that as well I'm surprised I haven't been knocked off the edge by one of these guys yet. Careful now. <sighs> I thought I had it. Yeah, because this game, like Crash White, it's been making me rather paranoid about like killing enemies simply because do I need them to get to a box? Whereas in Crash White, I think for the most time, I, I could just destroy anything I saw. I can't use the box to protect myself. Good to know. Yeah, the more you know, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, while I'm here, I think this is actually be a good time to talk about like where the hell I've been and why I haven't uploaded like almost any videos at all over like the past year or so. Because I know there's one guy who's like ever bothered unsubbing, even though I like barely uploaded anything. And this was back from like my Dissidia days, like he came to the channel. 
and the case with Dissidia at least is my PSP is sort of like not in too great working condition so I, I mean I can technically play the game but it's awkward and I have to keep the uh, charger plugged at a specific point and it's just not fun to play at all. That getting darker that yeah that's a shadow approaching. Yeah, so as I say, my PSP isn't in too great nick. I could still theoretically make videos on it, but it would be quite tedious to do so. Especially with my PSP in its current condition. Hopefully I can actually make videos when Dissidia NT comes out on, on the PS4. I think it's like early 2018. Now, after Dissidia came my DC Universe Online videos. Now, unfortunately, I just don't enjoy DC Universe Online anymore. I don't like the direction the game's taken, and it's just not for me. Was that my... Yeah, don't need to worry about getting that. But yeah, I think once the time capsule started coming in and such, that's when I think DC started really taking a turn downhill, and I really stopped getting motivated to play it. That along with them constantly adding stuff to like limited time seasonals. Like stuff that uh, helped character progression. Mostly feats, but still. It's a case of I just don't enjoy DC anymore. As much as I... I mean, it's a shame because I, I want to. I don't want to do that, but... If I'm playing a game, I do want to enjoy it. Which, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? And then there's Destiny, which I only actually made a couple of videos on, so it's... I, I apologise to anyone who actually subscribed because of my, uh, any of my two Destiny videos. But Destiny is a case of, if Destiny 2 in set... Oh, shit. If in September Destiny 2 is, like, worth getting, I may consider going back to doing Destiny videos again. And even then, it'd only be a case of, like, if uh, a bunch of my mates uh, that I sometimes play online with said, Hey, Skirmish, we'd like you to come back to Destiny. We're all coming back to it on the PS4. If that doesn't happen, then I'm probably not going to be making Destiny videos. And then there's Warframe. Now, Warframe, I'm simply just kind of burnt out on recently. And I've just not found anything good to make a video on. One of the issues with this is because I am on the PlayStation 4 and PC gets every, pretty much everything before us. So, by the time I actually uh, get an update, I really should be paying attention. Yeah, by the time I get an update, PC have already had like this update for like a month at least, if not longer. I mean... The only time this isn't true is Prime Access Packs. I don't feel like paying like 60 cents, however, however much cash it is for those. And I guess it was the Dera Vandal was like a uh, sort of like an exception because that was a, a different outcome to a uh, in-game event. And I actually already I did review that back when PC didn't have it. I suppose I could do like reviews on rhythm mods, but there's so much RNG in trying to obtain those, it just simply isn't worth the time. If I'm lucky enough to get one, I'll go for it, but otherwise it's just no thanks. What have we got? Yeah, I hope that's all like an in-depth explanation as to where the hell I've been and why I've not uploaded anything. Now I can actually get back to the gameplay and hopefully not keep screwing up because I've lost several lives during that explanation. Which probably could have been avoided quite easily. So I'm a bit paranoid to go now. Jump, jump, bounce, bounce. Okay. I actually get to a checkpoint now. Yeah, I made that last portion harder than it needed to be by quite a way. Just about time that. 
I thought it was uh, possibly a bit too early. Oh, is it? Oh, God, it's another one of those. Yeah, that platform, I think, like, takes you, like, behind, behind the gate or something stupid. So, yeah, all that effort is enough. Okay, I need to not hang around on that section. But another level I can't get the gem simply because... Wow. I'm actually back down to five lives. This is pretty poor, I'm not gonna lie. I really need to commit more of my jumps. I'm just being far too hesitant. I, I, I think that's the issue. By the way, I actually thank anyone who's actually managed to make it this far into the video and has like been able to put up and listen to me ramble. And put up with my many, many deaths. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the careful approach now because I really don't want to get a game over this early into the playthrough. Bloody hell! I don't know whether it's because I'm like recording or I know there's going to be people watching this, but I seem to be just getting worse and worse. This is what I really did want to do, because uh, I know one of the major criticisms of this playthrough so far has been like progress, and that's def that's the f especially like the first episode, because that was just one level of me like failing the time trial. But to be failing like this again is just not ideal. Okay. Okay, there's not a lot of time at all there. Am I missing something or... I guess it's a good thing I had the mask. Is it normally four lives there, or have they just been placed there because the game thinks I suck? Uh, correction, knows I suck. Hmm, neat trick, bro. Pause there because I don't want to go over the 15 minute mark because uh, that's, I think, like the uh, bracket which Share Factory records in or, or the capture gallery. I need to stop missing the damn jump. I think Crash One player, actually, Crash players in general might just end up being like really frustrated watching me fail constantly. Right, commit. Nope. Wasn't bouncing high enough. Commit. That's, that's the trick. Oh, maybe it's the end of the level at least. Well, I really hope those coloured gems start coming in soon. Just crash with that look of... Huh? What was that for? Up the creek. Yeah, that's where I feel I am right now. 
don't, don't get don't get me wrong. I I am not uh, faulting the game at all. I am actually, despite uh, what I've been saying and my general uh, failing, I've actually been really enjoying this. I am actually glad that I'm also not like speed running through it and actually taking my time. I don't know whether it's enjoyed to, to watch, but uh, I am actually enjoying playing this right now. Uh, another uh, waterfall -y level. Please, I know that my commentary regarding the game's like uh, appearance uh, pretty much consists of it looks good. But there's really not a lot to say. Other than it does look good. I don't know if this case is right. Okay, I really should be. Yeah, but I lost way more lives than I should have in the previous level. That's why those there. It's effectively a snowball effect almost. I start doing bad once, and then it just continues to go downhill from there. If I get like a streak where I don't like make any mistakes, g gameplay actually like or performance stays relatively decent. You make one slip up, and then you you make like ten slip ups. Right, it goes forward and back, and it's got that invincibility period. Okay, might get be able to get the uh, things on this one. Sure. <sighs> After I bounced, I should have just stayed on the box and recomposed myself. No reason I should fail that. Yeah, that's better. Please, what did that do? Were those two boxes, uh... It's annoying actually not knowing, like, what the exclamation mark boxes do. You hit it, it's like, something somewhere happened. Maybe they're just spoiled by Tomb Raider or something, where, like, when you pull le a lever, there's, like, a cut C. Like, showing you, like, what happened where. Again, okay, there's probably a bunch of areas in there where it doesn't do that either. Have I screwed it, or am I going to be okay? Well, that answers that question. Well, I probably could have recovered if it wasn't for my own lack of performance. Of sh shooting. I really hope I'm going to be able to get the clear gem on this level. Because otherwise, if I find like I do all this, ah, how many boxes do I have? Okay, I have a good chance of being able to do it. 30 from this, and then three more boxes from the rest of the level. Well, 
Why couldn't I have done that the first time round? This is what I'd like to be able to do all the time, but... See, when you get a good streak, it's a great streak. Two more boxes. Is the game going to screw me? It is! Well, what do you know? Now, did I now, did I actually miss something with that exclamation mark box? Or did I, like, miss a bonus gem or something? A like, bonus area that is a gem. <sighs> Bugger if I know. I can come back to it later. I think good time to take a break now. Yeah, I'll do Ripper Roo on the uh, next episode. Right, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.